Why do we as black consume so much material things? And what can be done to change that and become more industrial? Give thanks. Man in itself is material driven because it is a material world. And wherever you look, you see cars, you see houses, you see phones. Time has reached in life that people don't want to live in hills anymore, they want to drive. Although you can live in hills, you know, but you'll have to have a ride, you'll have to have a farm, you, you need things. So the material world is a world that is now. So we are living in now time, but that doesn't say you have to worship the material. You just take enough that you need your daily use, you, you, for, to fulfill your daily needs then. So you don't want to have three, four cars, but you only drive one, you know? You don't want to have this X amount of clothes stored you some of them you just buy because you have the, the buying power to buy. Why don't people don't have none? Hmm? You don't worship material. It's when you worship material, it's become a problem to you. So use material for its purpose. Because anywhere you go, you see it around you. If you if you listen radio, if you have turn on a TV, you see people advertising this, advertising that. You look in the books, you know textbooks wherever you go, it's visible there. But if you are being captivated by material, you're gonna lose your soul. You're gonna lose everything around you because you can't see nothing else. You're gonna see oh you want a new this and you want a new that and there's a big sale and you want to buy and you want to buy. So become a, a consumer addict. Every new thing you want, just to have it because you have the money to buy it. So you're looking and material is there for its own purpose, but don't be more agitated, say you must have this and you must have that and you must have that. Yeah, because the merchants are there to create more material, more blinks, more colors, more advertisement for you, for, to attract your eye, you know, because that's how they make their profit. But when you're looking and what are these merchants giving back now after they make all these vast profits? If they are giving back something to society, you can say yes. When you spend with them, you're getting back something. But they create more products to encourage you to buy more products. Just because they're looking nice, they're looking attractive. You know, man, man want to look good, man want to look good, man want things in the South that are beautiful and nice, I agree. But don't, but don't run it extraordinary. Know that this is just for daily use. Because at the end of the day, it's from the earth. Earth, everything come from, all minerals come from earth, all materials come from earth. Everything you look on above the earth come from below the earth. So it's gonna go back. Because no matter how the car is pretty, it's going to crash, it's going to run down, the building going to deteriorate, tissue going to eat, the termites going to eat it down, and go back to dust. So I focus on material, focus on yourself, focus on health, focus on spirituality, focus on how you go through this time dimension to the next level. A material is just there for your survival, but not to worship. Aye, aye. aye yeah. Give thanks. Reading is very crucial. Very, very, very crucial. Because when you look around the world, it's numbers and letters and signs. and You can't be in this world and you don't, you don't know letters and signs and directions, eh? Because every nation has its own language. Maybe we're born in an English society, we know English, we cannot read Japanese, we cannot read uh, Spanish, we cannot read uh, uh, Egyptian. But we are able to read the language of our native land. And by reading you gain knowledge. Reading takes you out of the ignorance and the possibilities and the guess. So, the thing is that, it is said, you know, if you want to hide something from the black man, you put it in a book. Because him no one read nothing, him just think and him think and everything is in his head. I think about this and I think about that, but we are the facts. It's only when you read. Not read from one source, read from many, 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 many sources. Because each writer writes from their points of view. So when you read the different sources, now you can say, okay, I can conclude that. And even when you have thoughts in your head, you need to write it. So it is not reading, it's reading and writing. It goes both hand in hand because 
Some man can talk, but him can write down what him say. He don't have no idea how to put the letters together. But he talk with the highest intelligence. I'm say, write that for me. Him can write it. And when, he, and when, 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 when you write it, you have to read it back to him because he can't read it. But his mind is so. So he's, he, he's, he didn't go to school, but he learned things on the street. But then for himself now, for his own benefit, he could practice on his own and learn to put his thoughts in writing. Because when you read now, you know the history of the world. You know about science and technology and knowledge and people can't fool you anymore. Because why should we sit here and let other people dictate how we live and how we grow and our ancestry? So when we read, you can know, say, hey, Christopher Columbus said they blasted liar because what he did was right. Thank you so much for watching I Never Knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like.